No, another way you could do it is like the discharge in your army is a good way of looking at, at it, or you could look at it always as a source of, um, like, through bodily functions or through uh, biology. So when, uh, like, say, lightning discharges into the earth or the earth discharges up into the sky, whichever way you believe lightning travels, either up or down, it's also a discharge. It balances out, it cancels each other out, and, uh, and you know, there's no longer any power there. Or you, know, you could discharge a battery for your automobile. You know, saying it's it's dead. There's nothing there. There's nothing left. You know, to it. And uh, the other lady, uh, Lady Fairfax. I don't know if, uh, what you were talking about with this Chinese uh, common law, because like I said, English common law is absolutely nothing. What I do, I do not do any form whatsoever of any English common law. I do common law, and common law is not written. There's no real rhyme or rhythm or pattern. All it is is this. It's it's adversarial. One man claims another man has done wrong, breached a contract, or, or injured his property. The only that's the, as far as common law goes for me. It's just like watching a Judge Judy show. It's that simple. It's just two people coming into court. Somebody's got a beef. The other guy wouldn't compensate, wouldn't settle the matter. Somebody might have a counterclaim to that beef. And that's about it. Common law is extremely, extremely simple. So I couldn't imagine common law being any different in England or China or Uganda or. Uh, Zimbabwe or the Aborigines or Arapaho or Cheyennes. It's just two people have an argument and how they decide to settle the matter. That's all common law is. So if you're actually looking for a, uh, a pattern of common law, that, there you go, there's your pattern. Two people have a dispute about something, usually over property, whose property who has the right to it, who doesn't have the right to it, or somebody's injured somebody's property, like they damaged it, hit, hit, you know, ran it over, hurt it, destroyed it. Well, there's a breach of a contract. Somebody lied to somebody, and somebody led to believe that something was going to be true, something was going to come to fruition. It didn't come true. It didn't come to pass. He put his uh, effort into the project. He didn't get what he was due, and uh, he's making a claim for compensation. So that's common law in a nutshell. I don't know how I could possibly write a book about it. I mean, I couldn't possibly imagine taking more than one page to explain it, but that, that's common law. But.